So today's reading uh, teaches about the fasting and penance that God preferred. Fasting, in God's mind, has to do with working for justice, having empathy, and being in solidarity with the needy. It's all about encountering others. Fasting is not a self-referential act. And I believe that most of the people in the church and we know very well this teaching. And yet many of us, many of the faithful in, in, in our church, do not practice that style of fasting. And proof of that is the current reality of our society. It is a mess. So much injustice and poverty. So much pain. And so, so many, war, so many questions were in my, in my head as I was reflecting on the first reading. And I just want to mention two. My question was that why we, could, that we as a church or the whole society could not live more authentically the gospel <laughs> principle of solidarity, simplicity, and being more active at working for justice to build a, a just society. The culture of individualism and materialism have seduced and blinded us. Why we have allowed that to take place? And even here in our life as religious, we have renounced personal property and have committed to live among the poor and to live in a frugal and austere lifestyle, says our constitutions. We have to accept the reality that we are not doing our best in living this, this style of life that we have professed to live. We just need to be humble and accept that reality. And I guess that many would say that it's because of original sin, so many the disordered desires in our hearts, and it is true, that has to do. But I think that at the bottom of this, this, this whole theme, there is an issue of trust and disbelief. We do not truly believe in God's providential care and unconditional love for us. We are not convinced that living the gospel to the fullest will bring us full joy. For if most of the faithful and even we would truly believe that, that God takes care of us, that the gospel we will live it will give us true joy, then we would have a more just society, not a perfect one, because here in this earth, we will never have a perfect society. But we will have a better society. And because we do not really trust in God, I think that two things are really happening. The first thing is that we have tamed God and the gospel. We have domesticated. And Monsignor Romero, he said once that we want a God that fits in our pockets. A God that accommodates to our idols, a God that approves our mediocrities. He said, how can we pray to this God be our Father? If we treat God as one of our servants or workers. Having this kind of God is nice because we do not feel the urgency to renounce pride power, wealth, this God that not pushes us for excellency and authenticity. And the second thing that happens is that because we do not believe in God's love and care, we have become extremely concerned with working hard to acquire and accumulate all types of goods, materially, intellectually, and spiritually even, that supposedly will guarantee our respect our safety and happiness when we know that all of that only happens in God. So, my dear sisters and brothers, I think that we are living a sort of practical atheism in our life. We do not reject God, the existence of God, but we tend to live as God does not exist. So, during this land, I invite you to, to fast 
from that practical atheism. Because if we don't fast from that, we will never experience the freedom and happiness that God wishes to give us in this life. We will remain slaves to the devil, which is seducing us and confusing us through those cultures of individualism and materialism. We can fast, we can renounce that, that practical atheism because we have the grace. We receive it in baptism and we just receive a fresh anointing of that grace here at the Eucharist. We have the power to do it, but we have to believe it. At the beginning of the second week of uh, the spiritual exercises in Ignatius, Yola invites the, the retreating to ask for the grace to know Jesus intimately, to love him more intensely, so to follow him more closely. It's only in knowing Jesus really to experience that love that we will be able to, to build that just society. So as we begin our land, as we continue journeying to, to these 40 days, let us try to fast from mistrusting God. And we will do well to take that invitation of Ignatius. And by extension, we, we will become a stronger and authentic heralds of the gospel. As St. Francis was called, he was called the herald. We are called to be those heralds in our society today. So may the Lord give us the grace to, to truly live according to the gospel.